Hi, I'm Neil Goldsmith with JNM Air Conditioning. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace the hot surface igniter in this furnace. It's one of the most common repairs that, uh, that is required by one of these. The first uh, thing you're going to want to do is make sure you move the power to the furnace. Normally, it's just by unplugging the furnace. Uh, some, of them have the, some of them are hard wires, so you're going to have to um, turn off the circuit breaker and make sure that their power is disconnected to the furnace. There are blower door switches on these furnaces that will turn the power off as well. However, don't rely on that. Okay, after we have power disconnected to the furnace, we're going to remove the, blow the outside doors. And then we're going to locate the hot surface igniter. On this particular furnace, the hot surface igniter is located, if you follow these wires, it's located right here. It's removed by taking this quarter inch screw out with a quarter inch nut driver. Screw out, don't lose it. Remove the hot surface igniter. It should slide out. On these hot surface igniters, you want to make sure that you do not touch this portion of the hot surface igniter. The oil from your fingers can cause damage to that and it'll allow it to fail prematurely. After you have it out, inspect the hot surface igniter. <clears throat> if you see any kind of crack or white discoloration of the hot surface igniter, that usually means it's bad. You can also test it by ohming it out if you have an ohm meter um, to make sure that the resistance is proper through the hot surface igniter. On this particular one we're just going to be replacing it. So the next thing you're going to do is remove the plug that holds the hot surface igniter in place. It should just pull out. It's going to come out. So on this particular hot surface igniter you have to remove the hot surface igniter from the mounting bracket which is also just a quarter inch screw take the screw out and then the whole surface and um, then the hot surface igniter will be removed from the bracket. Take it out. Here's our new hot surface igniter mounted to the old bracket and we're going to be reinstalling it to the furnace. We're still making sure not to touch the black portion of the hot surface igniter. What we're going to do is first get that mounted back into the position that it needs to go into. Okay, and now we're going to be replacing the quarter inch screw that holds the bracket to the burner assembly. Doesn't have to be super tight, but snug. After that's completed, we'll go ahead and plug in the wires. Make sure the wires are still in factory location it's all reinstalled, you're good to go. Now you're going to reconnect power to the furnace by plugging it in or reconnecting it however you disconnected it. And then you're going to test run the appliance. You may have to put your blower door back on to close the blower door switch. Once it's done, leave the burner compartment exposed as long as you have an open combustion furnace and test run the appliance. What you're going to notice is it's going to go through a sequence. You're going to have the inducer motor come on first You'll notice the fan, and then you're going to see a glow. Once you see the glow, that means your hot surface igniter is working correctly. After that, it should go through a, uh, it should open the gas valve, and then you should have a nice blue flame. There you go. Replace the front door. You should be all ready to go with your, with your repair on your furnace. If that doesn't fix the problem, or you feel uncomfortable making this repair, uh, definitely give us a call at Jane and Air Conditioning. We have service technicians ready to come to your home take care of the heating and air conditioning systems that you have, um, and we have all the parts, so give us a call. Thanks.